The KC Highlights 4-inch Rally 400 round halogen light in the spread beam is for those of you that have a 1987 all the way up through the most current model year Wrangler that are looking for an auxiliary light that's going to give you a little bit more of that old school styling, but still be a very, very functional light for you. This is going to be a fairly easy installation. I'm gonna go with two out of three wrenches because this does not come with a wiring harness. However, if you do pick up the KC Highlights wiring harness, it will make this a much easier installation and we'll bump it down to a one out of three wrenches. If you don't purchase that wiring harness, you are going to have to do a little bit of custom wiring, but we'll show you how to install these in just a second. So as I said, this is going to be a little bit more of a traditional style light. It's a round light, it's a halogen light in a reflector housing. A lot of the more modern lights are going to be square. They're going to be LED, and they're just gonna give you a little bit of a different look and a little bit of a different function. So the big benefits to LED is that you can really get a specific color temperature. So if you're looking for something a little bit more blue, crisp, white, or you want something a little bit more daylight, you can get that out of an LED just by changing how the light itself is designed. With a halogen light like this, you usually get that pretty traditional, a little bit more yellow light. An LED also draws a very small amount of power for the amount of light that it makes, especially when you compare it to a halogen light. But at the same time, unless you're running a lot of lights, that's really not going to be a big concern of yours on your Jeep. So again, if you're looking for an auxiliary light, going to be a great one. It's going to be very, very bright, very high quality, last a long time, and it is going to give you a little bit more of that old school look if that is what you're after. This light is by KC Highlights, which is a company that's been around for a very long time. They're very well known for building very high quality lights. And again, that's what you're going to get out of this light right here. This is going to be um, a metal housing. Some of their lights have a plastic housing. This is a metal housing. Again, pros and cons to that, I personally do like the metal housing. You're going to have a nice, uh, strong glass here. This is a spread beam light, meaning it has a nice wide beam pattern. There are going to be other beam patterns that you can get. Some are going to be more of a spot. Some are a little bit more of a pencil beam, like really, really far out there. So get the light with the pattern that is best for how you want to use it. This is going to be good for on the very front of the Jeep or even on the back of the Jeep if you're looking for something reversed. That's just going to light up a big wide area and be nice and bright for you. Uh, I should note that these lights are sold individually. What you're seeing here is the stone uh, guard and the light, you're gonna get these. You will probably purchase a couple of them. Usually you just don't run one light unless you are doing a reverse light. And again, you are probably going to want to purchase that wiring harness as well to make these a little bit easier to wire in. But this one light with the stone guard is going to come in right around that $50 mark, which I think is very, very fair. Again, for a light that's as high quality and as bright as this one is. And as I mentioned, pretty easy installation here. Gonna go two out of three wrenches unless you purchase that wiring harness, but we're gonna show you how to install it right now. Tools used for this installation, 14 millimeter socket, 3 8 inch ratchet, side cutters, zip ties. Now there's a number of places you can mount these lights. We are gonna mount them to our barricade front bumper using these tabs. Start, I'm just gonna remove the hardware. Place it on the bottom side. All right, so our next step is to wire up our KC lights. Now we did go ahead and get the KC lights wiring harness to make it a plug and play installation. All right, here I'm plugging in the Deutsch connectors from the KC highlight and the KC highlight wiring harness. I got mine at extremetrain.com while ordering the highlights themselves. And now there are a hundred different ways you could wire these lights. I'm gonna be using some zip ties and wiring the harness right behind the bull bar. Put that towards the back. All right, our next step is to find a clear path for our wires in the engine bay. Now it's key to keep these away from anything that's moving or hot, and there's a multiple different ways you can run it, but just finding yourself a nice grommet in the firewall to pass your switch through, and you're good to go.
All right, that's going to wrap up my install of the KC Highlight 4-inch Rally 400 lights. You can pick up yours right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.